Most movies are shot on studio in a lot in Los Angeles. But there's a new movie out there that was filmed thousands of miles away from Tinseltown. Love and Suicide was shot completely in Cuba. It could pass for a big budget picture, but was really done on a dime of a local on the dime of a couple of local indie movie makers in the heart of Havana. Easy for me to say. Check it out. Love and Suicide is about a guy on the verge of ending it all who goes to Cuba and finds the one thing that could save his life. And it's not just a love story, it's a movie which stars a country that's rarely been seen by Americans. It's shot in Havana, Cuba. It's the first movie in 47 years we've been told uh, shot by American filmmakers in Havana, Cuba. The real Cuba, you actually see Cuba in the raw. A mí me encanta como las olas nunca paran. We didn't get any approval from the Cuban government or the U.S. government, so we were able to really tell the story in Cuba without any restrictions. From the skyline to its breathtaking sunsets, Love and Suicide offers a different view of the communist country while also offering up some history as well. Capitol building. Yeah, wow. Built by the Americans when they occupied Cuba back yeah, in the, like the White early House, 1940s. Right? Oh, it looks just like the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Right. It's an exact replica. And while this may look like a big budget flick, it's not. It's a homegrown indie by Louis Morrow, who stars in the movie, and Peter Mays. I've gotten an abundance of grandmother hugs, just yeah. an appreciation. Yeah. Well, their project is proving to be the little movie that could, thanks to AMC Theater's select program. They gave us a shot where we only had three screenings on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday in the morning. Uh, at 11.30. At 11.30 in the 30. morning. In August, in Miami. In Miami. I think the odds were stacked against us. <laughs> but they delivered, and moviegoers couldn't agree more. It was great. I cried, actually. It was very heartfelt. And when I came out, there was, like, mascara underneath my eyes. I, uh, I think uh, you see not only the poor things about Cuba, but also how rich the culture is. It was just one of the best movies I think I've seen in my life. Okay.